Do you have a favorite day in a year? Yeah. Yeah. What is your favorite day? My birthday. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> your birthday. December 31. New Year's Eve. Yes. Yeah. December 31. 31st. 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 Ah, New Year's Eve. My birthday. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I my favorite day is also my birthday, of course. But I also have another my favorite day. So it is uh, New Year's. New Year's Day. So I'm going to talk about New Year's Day in Japan. Oh, and this is a picture of Japan. I don't know where it is, but... Uh, Hiroshima? Yeah, in Japan. I think Hiroshima. <laughs> yeah. So New Year's Day, well, from New Year's Eve to into New Year's Day, we, some place have this kind of huge fire, fireworks. So I'm going to talk about three points. So the first question is what do we do on New Year's Day? And the second is what do we get on New Year's Day? We get something on New Year's Day in Japan. And the third is what do we eat? So let's begin with the first one. So what do we do on New Year's Day? So I, I show you the pictures. I don't think I can do this. So the, in Japan, we it called New Year's Bell in English. Well, in Japan, we call this. Uh, oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember what they call it in Japanese? Oh, I remember. Kane. We call this one Joyano Kane. Uh, Joyano Kane. Sorry. And so, Buddhist temples in Japan, all over in Japan. Uh, starts ringing their bells, like these huge bells, uh, from the December 31st midnight into the January 1st, early, early morning. So, and they, they all, like 108 times they, they ring the bells. So, this 108 is related with like a Buddhist concept, Buddhist concept of 100, 108 world, worldly desires. Worldly desires. It's like a, our our desires, human desires. And so, when when you open the door during from the December thirty first midnight, you can hear the this this sound from the outside. It's so beautiful. And then we also do. Go to the, we also go to the first visit uh, of the year to a temple. So now, as you can see, this is a temple in Japan. And we usually go here and we give or donate the money for the god of this temple. And we pray the happiness or good health for new year. Like this usually. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Like, uh, it is a pray. Close. Yeah, pray. We pray and close the eyes. And so, okay. So let's go to the next one. What do we get on New Year's Day? So we we get this kind of small envelope, and this is not for everyone. It's only for child, right, Kosuke? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, don't I, I got this here. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still <Really>? Still a <laughs> child. <laughs> okay, so it's not for everyone, but usually children are given some money from the uh, grandparents or their parents as a New Year's gift. And so it means like uh, they spread their happiness to to them. Uh, sorry, what what is that? It's like uh, the small envelope. And that you put money in the uh, uh, oh, yeah, oh, okay. Yes, and you can get that. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and we also get, uh, we also have custom to send a New Year's card, New Year's gift postcard, uh, to relatives or friends. So it's like a Christmas card in Victoria or maybe Brazil. Or friends too, so we, we we have a lot of sort of um, 
card designs. And but nowadays we we don't often send this kind of postcards because we only have the cell phones. Mm -hmm. So we usually send message to through the email or Facebook. But many people like to receive this postcard because they can be happy when they receive something. So we usually get postcards and uh, the, some money. And the, the last one, what do we eat? So we eat special traditional food uh, called osechi. Oh. Isn't <laughs> it's beautiful. I think it is the most beautiful traditional food in Japan. So we eat, and as you can see, we have a lot of kind of meals, meals, and every meals have meaning, like wishes, wish. Mm -hmm. They all meals have wish. So it's like a for our health in this year, or for living longer, or our wealth, our money or our education, like uh, to getting to be smart, smarter and smarter, or <coughs> to get better job, or like uh, our harvesting, harvesting, mm -hmm, yeah. harvesting in this year. So we, we usually eat January 1st for lunch or for morning, for breakfast. We eat this kind of special traditional food. And we, we also eat Rice cakes. Do you know rice cakes? It's like a, it's it's made from the rice and it's very really sticky. One. I don't have good picture. <laughs> so, like maybe this one is a rice cake. So it's well, it's from made from rice and it's sticky rice cake. Anyway. And we. <coughs> Of course, we are Japanese. We we always eat rice. So during the happy during New Year's season, we eat rice cake with rice cake soup. Or this is for the god. We decorate rice cake like this, and at first we give this one for God, and then later we can eat this one. It's like a, a, like this, and we also eat uh, soba noodles. Um, when when the day turns from December thirty first to January first, we eat soba noodles as a traditional. And we like our noodles are usually very long, so if we eat soba, we can live longer and longer. Mm -hmm. So now you know what do we do on New Year's Eve, no, on New Year's Day, and what do we uh, what do we get on New Year's Day, and what do we eat on New Year's Day? So. Our New Year's is like a Christmas in Canada or Brazil or France. Like every whole family are gathered together and they have long holidays, so they are happy and they are, all of them are during a relaxing time. So, so that's why I really love New Year's Day. So I hope you can understand uh, Japanese New Year's style. Thank you for listening.